welcome to an LTTV special uh, in a club first, I would think. Certainly in a club first in the fact that we have announced a new main partner almost via the web, so to speak, without an individual present and certainly not present here to talk today. But in a club first, we're actually going to find out exactly why that partner came on board as well as find out why from the very top with Andrea Pynchon, the chief executive officer, why that partner was somebody that the club wanted to have on board. So in the continuing theme of transparency, I will ask the questions that I hope some fans want to have asked and hopefully it's of interest to the Tigers family. So without being rude, I'm going to ignore my boss first <laughs> and go straight to the new face in the Tigers family, which is Richard Carter, the retail managing director of the club's new main partner, Tops Tiles. So firstly, Richard, welcome to you and what appears to be some guests with you behind Thank you. Today. Yeah, I brought a couple of uh, customer friends along as well for the ride. So, Rich, what would be good, I guess, for Leicester Tigers fans who, who might not necessarily know a lot about Top Styles or might not know who Top Styles are, is can you tell us a little bit about not only what you do, but who Top Styles are? Yes, yeah, sure. So Top Styles has been around for 57 years now, and we're very proud of that heritage. We're based in Leicester, so not a million miles away from the ground. And actually, we're the biggest specialist reseller of tiles, be it ceramic, porcelain, natural stone, and all of the stuff that you would fit along with that. So there's two parts of the business. We've got a commercial part that you know, would be involved in stuff like the hotel development and supplying tiles on a, on a large scale. And then I look after the retail side. So we've got over 340 stores up and down the breadth of the UK, be it in Northern Ireland, Scotland, um, and obviously uh, locally in England and Wales as well. Um, I'm incredibly proud of what TOP stands for. So we have brilliant people in every one of our stores. So small teams, but actually small teams of really passionate, knowledgeable, um, brilliantly humorous, actually, uh, colleagues. We have the best products in the UK, be it porcelain from uh, Italy, be it hand-finished tiles from Portugal, or be it good old British adhesives and British stock. And actually, we deliver a great experience for our customers. And I'm not saying that with false modesty. Our customers fill in a survey for us, and nine out of 10 customers give us a five-star review every week. And that's right up there at, at world class. So we're actually a big um, tile business. Actually, we're one of the biggest in the world. I guess it's a good chance to bring in my boss now. One of my bosses, so to speak. <laughs> There's quite a few. Andrea, I'm going to ask you a very simple question. How do you find a main partner? Oh, not such a simple answer. <laughs> um, <laughs> Typically, um, you, you start um, your work quite, quite a while out of when, when the contract's coming to an end with a previous partner. Um, it takes some time when you're talking about that level of investment um, and also to source a business that really aligns um, with the Tigers for us. So the thing about Tops, which is so great, is that they're people both internally and externally are, are, are exactly the same people and they're matched with ours. What they do with the work in the community, um, which is local to all of their um, stores, um, again, aligns with, with the Tigers. So there's some really great synergies there um, and it just helps us um, identify right, who in an ideal world would you like to work with and then you research those businesses you get in touch with those businesses and you keep knocking on the door until rich lets me in <laughs> Which, quite a while but um you know you uh, persistence pays off so uh, i guess in terms of your response there just to cut through that answer a little bit this was something that was in motion prior to the pandemic as well yeah, yeah, very much so. So we, we've been working on this for um, a, a long while now, at least um, over a year, um, and identifying various different businesses that would fit with um, the demographic of the Tigers. Ultimately, what, what a partner um, is looking for in sports, and, and, and Rich can 
go into that in more detail for tops, but it is to is to get into um, the supporter fan base and for them to say, right, look, that they will be um, our tile of choice. If, if we are doing any home renovations, if we have a business that um, has tradesmen in it that, that need that, we want tops to be at the forefront of everybody's mind. Um, so, so we would look at an array of businesses and industry sectors and say, right, who fits with the people that we have that make Tigers Tigers, so, so the fan base, um, and then we start doing our research from there and, and widening out. So yeah, it, it's a long process. These things don't, don't kind of just land on your lap. There's a lot of people doing a lot of work behind the scenes to get us to, to this point. While you two are the face of both respective organisations here today, a lot of work goes into putting a partnership together. And I hope I'm not speaking out of turn when I say maybe a lot of work goes on with some people that aren't on this call today as well. Is there anyone in particular, or I guess from both of you, if you start with you, Rich, is, are there people at Tops that you feel specifically are owed a thanks here in pulling this together? Yeah, look, the primary thanks to me goes to Sean O'Neill. So Sean's our marketing director. She looks after all of this stuff and, and has been the real face and the real driving force for this deal, actually. So, you know, Sean has, has done an in, incredible piece of work in terms of uh, working hard with Andrea and, and her team uh, to get the deal over the line. So let, let's give Sean all the praise. She does all the hard work and I get to meet you guys. <laughs> and Andrea, from your perspective, obviously, there are a lot of people at Leicester Tigers and it goes through and feeds through a lot of departments when it can be. It's unlocked mm. from that draw, so to speak. But who are the people in particular, or I guess departments for fans sake to understand that make these things happen? Departments, it's interesting because um, all departments make a partnership happen because there's so much that's involved with that. So yourself with social media and looking at elements of that and the ticketing, hospitality, but we have a, a team working on the sponsorship side. So with Sean, um, we have a team, Katie um, and her team that have been pulling that together. Lucy that um, a lot of people know has been with the club for a long time. And then um, Mark Davies, who was working for a third party organization that was involved in, in, uh, bringing this to the table um, that uh, we decided that actually rather than um, working for a third party or as he was previously Leicester City we thought that we would actually employ him and bring him in to, to head up the sponsorship team so yeah Mark, Lucy and Katie primarily have been working very hard with Richard and the team and, and Sean in particular, as he says, in, in getting this over the line and agreeing you know, on those uh, marketing objectives to see how we can help um, fulfill those. I guess the only final, final element is now call on fans to also make the partnership work and make it valuable for both sides. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that that's really what it's all about. You know, we, we can sit here and, you know, take the credit and, and say, yeah, we've got this great relationship, but ultimately it's not going to work if Tops and Richard and, and the team aren't getting that return on investment. So we need to make sure that we are... Um, engaging with the fans to you know if they're redoing a bathroom or a kitchen or wherever it may be um, and actually when I went in there's some amazing floor tiles that looks like parquet flooring wood flooring that are tiles absolutely fantastic so there's a plug I think um, everyone should uh, should go in and have a look because you'll be amazed at, at the at the style and the quality and and you know there's just so much for you to, to choose from. That was, a, that was a lovely plug, Andrea. I don't know if you're available for our next advert. That was a beautiful <laughs> done. Yeah, we've got some great branches in the area, be it Loughborough, Market Harbour, Stamford, uh, three in Leicester. So we will welcome all of the fans. Uh, my local branch in rugby as well, the, the home of the game. And from your perspective, Richard, what is the benefit to Top Stars? It, look, without being obnoxious, maybe on behalf of the club, obviously aligning with a club like Leicester Tigers is a benefit. But what are the actual benefits from a business perspective? So sponsorship's really interesting for us. So we've done a bit of sponsorship in the past, um, Leicester City in, in years gone by. And actually what we found is there's a great synergy with having a, a good brand like Tops on the, on the front of the shirt in terms of the demography of people that like rugby, the customers that come into the game every single match, obviously when we get back to paid and full stadiums, 
And also that added benefit of being in the press, being on TV, and having our name associated with a, with a club with a rich history you know, that, that we can see in Leicester Tigers. There's a real cultural synergy, I think, between our organisations, that competitiveness, that want to win, that strive for excellence, that tops first or club first mindset just really appealed to us. And this is a really important deal for us. So this is a big part of our marketing spend, you know, for the, for the next few years. And it's really important for us that we had the right partner. And certainly what impressed, you know, our team, you know, Sean O'Neill, our, our marketing director especially, was a real willingness to create a partnership and a real willingness to work together. And being a Leicester-based business, you know, there is only one club that we would, uh, we would want to associate with. You obviously mentioned you'd been in sport previously. Why now have Tops re-entered that area? Yeah, so we, we've looked at sponsorship a lot over the course of the last 10 years. We've, we've done some, you know, TV sponsorship deals with uh, ITV Weather. We've done other various sponsorship things. But actually, we just think that sport works for us. So, you know, business and sport has a lot of, of real synergies, that quest to deliver that performance that training that strive to do better and actually sport really connects with a lot of our colleagues and definitely it connects with our customers as well so we just think the right place to go for the right value return is, is absolutely in sport and rugby is the right place to go for us in terms of the you know the demography of the people that in, enjoy what is a brilliant sport mm. so you, you mentioned there obviously looking at the fan base if I can ask on behalf of the fan base, if it's okay, what can they benefit from having Tops Tiles in their club now? Well, the first thing they can benefit from is I've got great people in the stores. We've got great products in the stores, so we welcome them in any time. And, um, you know, we promise these guys that there'll be some nice little treats for them along the way because we want to take them on the journey because we want to see this partnership and, and we want them to have our products in, in the home, remember us the way that we're hoping to fondly remember some of the experiences over the next few years. What about if there was somebody who hosted the odd show on LTTV and he didn't really know how to tile? Could he get some help? Because he's oh, somewhat he useless. Get to loads of help. We've got loads of people on tap for, uh, for quality entertainers like yourself. There are I some that the next LTTV should be somebody demonstrating how to tile and then you actually having to do it. I... <laughs> oh, that can be arranged. Uh, I don't know. I think that would be, that would be great. I can see you as Mr. Grout. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. know. My, my owner might not want me redecorating their home. So we'll see what happens. I'll ask them. We'll see what they say. They might be in for it. They might be in for it. You mentioned, <laughs> obviously, synergies. There is a geographical synergy as well, given that you have, well, a head office here in Leicester. Yeah. So we, we've got, you know, 2,000 uh, colleagues across the, across the UK. 500 of those are, are based in and around the Leicester area. So we've got two warehouses here, you know, where we distribute all of the goods that we resell, either direct to customers for delivery or via the store network. And then we've got head office, a couple of hundred people uh, also based here as well in all of the kind of support functions, IT, HR, um, through marketing, etc. Andrea, you mentioned some of those things that uh, I guess appeal, and I would assume there's many, many more, and we might not even have time to touch on them all. And, you know, this isn't a a month long partnership. There's a long time to talk about the values between the two businesses and brands moving forward. But when you go into these conversations and when you're looking at clubs, are you sitting there with the Leicester Tigers values in front of you and thinking it's got to tick this box? Or are you looking across and thinking there's also some stuff you might think, Oh, I like that. And actually how can we help them come into Tigers and help us move forward? Yeah, it, it, it works both ways. So we, we see uh, this relationship very much as a partnership. So, um, you know, we, we both will learn and grow and develop from it. Um, we, we pretty much um, both agreed that we'd, we'd sign, draw up a contract, sign it, put it in the drawer, and then, you know, then explore and experiment and see what else we could do. It's not... For us, it's never been about one size fits all. So it's this much money and this is what you get. And it's a tick box exercise. It's what are Tops Tiles objectives? What 
does Sean and her team want to get out of this relationship? And that will be different in year one, two, three, and as, as, as we push on. So um, it, it's looking at those and for us to help TOPS work towards those. And at the same time, one of the first conversations that, that Rich and I ever had wasn't anything to do with partnership sponsorship. It was about um, working with some of our academy and development squad um, boys to say, I shouldn't have said boys, should I? So can you cut that bit? So working with our academy and development squad um, team members and also first team um, to give them some mentoring in business. So what we want to do and something that I, I'm a firm believer in is, is upskilling the players who've only ever known how to be a rugby player and, and giving them a wider breadth of skills that they can utilize on the pitch and in the team game so decision making communication all those pieces but also for life after rugby and um rich and i got into into a really good conversation about it where he's really keen to help out and then you start to build from that and you see that there are elements that actually going into the partnership with TOPS will really help some of our players through a mechanism such as that. So that there's a multitude of us, but for when we want to grow or we want to get into a different area, then you know, we will talk to um, Rich and his team and Sean and say, look, you know, we'd really like to break into this market. You have one or two stores there. Can you help us? How can we do that? Can we have a bit of fun with what we're doing so that it attracts an audience as well and actually drives traffic into to both of the businesses? One of the phrases we've heard a lot, and I might be guilty of saying it most, to be brutally honest, is new look. We've got a new look club. We've got a new look Leicester Tigers. Is it purely luck and timing that coming with that is a new look main partner? I think, how, how long have we been knocking on your, on your door waiting to be let in? It's a while, Andrew. It is a while. <laughs> but the timing's kind of worked out, right? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, you, you, you see opportunities and, and if they're not right for now, they're right at a point. And actually, I think it has all come at a really opportune time for both of us. We're bringing, you know, the retail back in house, which is something we've been you know, dying to do for a long time so that we can give the quality and service. And that's something that Rich and the team on the retail side can help us with. You know, we've, we're not retail experts. Um, top styles very much are so it's all that learning that we can take and actually you know having a bit of um uh interest and and changing uh, the kit and and going out there and putting ourselves out on a limb obviously we we uh, we, we showed the kit to rich sean and the team to make sure that they were on board with it um and i think um hopefully the fans will be excited they'll be talking about it um, for sure. I hope they'll be excited when they see it. What do you think, Rich, about it's this? It's a great kit. And I love, I love the whole tag going with it, you know, earning your stripes. And I love, you know, the, uh, the alternate kit in terms of that, uh, that vibe around uh, Leicester and embracing all of the cultures that, that, that are a melting pot of a great city. Yeah, yeah. Rich, I'm intrigued. When, when that kit did arrive, you say you love it, but uh, our own soon to be or, or will be director of rugby jordan murphy described it as marmite it is a little bit marmite there's no lying there's no lying there it is a little bit marmite some people won't like it but to be honest they'll come around we know they will what was your first impression so the home kit is sensational and yeah. i love i love any everything related to that the you know the the angled stripes i mean sensational the away kit is one of those that you have to look at <laughs> it's a talking point and, you know, I've, I've, on the very quiet, they've all signed an NDA. I've shown a few of my friends. And uh, Mar Marmite is absolutely right. But you know what? They talk about it all the time. And that's the art of a great kit. You know, I remember the Tiger print of a few years ago had exactly the same effect. Yeah. yeah. Are we going to see some tiles in store at one of your many stores across the country with that print? Uh, it, it's, um, it's, it's an option. <laughs> it's a definite option. I mean, we're, exploring, we're exploring in all kinds of areas. And, you know, who am I to judge people on their colour choices? And who am I to say those colours wouldn't work? Because clearly they do. We might have to do up the bathrooms or something at Welford Road. Well, yeah. I know a great place to go for that. Yeah, absolutely. It, Rich. Yeah. 
but I know a really good Tyler that would be able to do it. <laughs> really long hair. Yeah, absolutely no chance. Um, Rich, obviously anyone who supported Saints or did or does support Saints at Tops Tiles no longer does because everyone's now Leicester Tigers fans in the building. It's actually written into the contract now. <laughs> but all jokes aside, are there Tigers fans floating around that building, yourself included? You have no idea how many Tigers fans are out here. So I've, I've been a season ticket holder for 10 years, so you know, I've got a strong affinity and a love for the club. And uh, Monday is either a very, very good place to come to work if we've had a great result, and uh, a more sombre place if we've had a less good result. So, you know, there's a few ex-youth uh, players here and there's plenty of uh, people that, uh, that I interact with on a Monday uh, that either come to the game or watch the game or read the papers with real interest. So it, it, it'll be a big deal for the team here. As a fan, obviously, there's, there's quite a buzz and excitement. So if you take your top styles hat off for a second, obviously... There is a buzz and excitement around the club at the moment. As we said, new look and, and you guys form very much part of that. As we said, it's not luck, it's not timing. What is it that, uh, I guess, excites you now looking forward? So I, you know, from a fan perspective, you know, the last few years have been challenging because the identity of Tigers seems to have, have changed a bit. And now I think it's changing back to the Tigers that, you know, I was watching 10 years ago, that that attention to detail, that thinking about the right way of playing, thinking about the right players and being clear about what the players are doing on the pitch. And I'm very excited about you know, the appointments. I'm very excited about the thought about youth and I'm very excited about bringing the right type of players in to fit the Tigers mould. I think add that to the culture stuff and, I, and I'm no expert, you know, I've, I've shared some good conversations with Andrew on it, but I just think that whole piece around passion and club first and earning the stripes and for the, for the badge really resonates with, with uh, me as I'm shouting at the ref on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Constructive criticism, not shouting. Um, <laughs> no, it's definitely <laughs> shouting. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Just do it in, uh, don't do it in the change kit because people will notice you now if you're doing it in that kit. Uh, Andrea, it, to be blunt, in the current climate, sponsorship is not something that's guaranteed anymore moving forward financially rugby is in a difficult situation nobody has hidden from that uh, even after this chat now the comfort and the confidence you and the commercial team at Leicester Tigers must get from having someone like Richard leading a team like Tots that is actually genuinely interested that you know is in it for the long haul must be incredible yeah, it, it, it is. And I think it says, it, it speaks so much um, about, speaks volumes about what the Leicester business market, if you like, but also, you know, what, what everybody thinks about us as a club, which are our fans and our players and, you know, everything that we are trying to do to push forward and get this new look, Tigers. You know, we are now all about transparency and trust and creating those things where people do put the club first. And, you know, you put in the club first and that's putting tops first because they're our partners and that's us putting season ticket holders first because without them really we are nothing and we wouldn't have partners etc cetera, etc cetera. so I think it's the whole piece which is intertwined but the support um from Richard Sean and the team you know it's it's they they when this all started they got in touch with us straight away they reassured us you know this is still on this is still something that we want to do and we're behind you all the way and that that support is you know we're, we're eternally grateful for that because let's make no mistakes this is tough times for all businesses but especially for a business that can't operate, you know, and, and, and drive any revenue during this time. So the support is, is, is absolutely gratefully received. Uh, both, you know, both sort of the, the, the personal support as well as the financial support, that being there and that belief in Tigers for now and the future is, um, is something pretty special, actually. It's quite humbling. You've been involved, and I guess in a previous life, you could call it, heavily involved with sponsorships. You heard when you first were appointed to the CEO role, one of your biggest, I guess, projects was the Caterpillar project some time ago now. I'm, I'm conscious of saying the years. I won't say it. I won't do it. Been in trouble for that before with the chairman. Um, what is it that 
people don't see about partnerships and sponsorships. I know you said it's partnership, but effectively meaning the same thing. What is it that people don't see? So if you're chatting with someone like Rich, if chairmans of companies are chatting, and I know people have their opinions of the Prawn Sandwich Brigade, and uh, without being rude, Rich, you don't strike me as someone who's going to necessarily be up there. I think you might be in the mix with Down With The Fans. I'm a, I'm a Balti and a, and a Balti pie and a Guinness man. Yeah, I, I got that impression. It's very nice to see. But I... I no offence to the Prawn Sandwich Brigade. They're equally as important. But, Andrew, you know the perception they have, but what is it that people don't see? So away from match day or even if they are mingling on match day or if you're chatting through the week. And like you said, in tough times like it is now for all businesses and all brands, what goes on that isn't written in a contract? What goes on when Andrea and Rich are having a chat and maybe just bouncing ideas off each other, that mm -hmm. kind of thing? So I think I think what um, what some fans don't see is that actually our our partners are as passionate about the club as they are, um, and that the fact that people are um, you know like Richard and, and and Sean have had to go to their management team their their board and say this is where we feel that our money is best spent and this is why and, and you know we need to show that we can provide a return on investment um but actually that faith in the tigers is, is absolutely there in that team um as well as somebody that you know will stand on the terrace and queue up for hours before the turnstiles open and i think that that's a, a bit of a disconnect and that's probably you know us and we're guilty of not being able to put that across or haven't put that across previously that you know they, they like you said rich when you go into the office on a monday you know if we've had a win it's absolutely great if we've not then you know everyone feels it so so there's, there's very much that and as i as i said before the, the first conversation one of the first conversations we actually had was nothing about um you know sponsorship or spending money or being a business associated with tigers it's how can we help you can we do some mentoring for the academy players or the development players even first team players how can i help them you know there's this big disconnect i suppose really with coming through rugby um from school age and not being out there in the business world and at some point they are going to have to and so there's very much that real wanting to help at grassroots level being a supporter being a fan and having the passion for the club as well and perhaps we're not so good as a club of, of getting those messages across to our, our fan base and our season ticket holders to say look sponsors feel it as well so rich i, I want to ask you a final question uh, do you think you'll be a proud father of sorts when you see that shirt run out for the first time with tops tiles across the chest of the likes of George Ford? In all honesty, having that logo on the front of that shirt will be an incredibly proud moment for the, for the organisation. You know, we, we will have 2,000 people, some of which will be brand new fans wishing the Tigers uh, win every single week. And it will be an amazing moment for, for the whole organisation, I think. And obviously, we, uh, you know, we officially thank all those former Saints fans for their service to Tops Tiles. Indeed. Yeah. Well, look, I appreciate it. Obviously, it's, um, it's a very exciting time for the club. This is an additional element of that new look, Leicester Tigers. And I look forward to seeing the change kit on the bathroom walls in the Crumbie or wherever it may be in <laughs> the future. So I appreciate both of your time. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Andrew.